There must be a good explanation of why America is being deconstructed right before our eyes and we are allowing this to happen. Vril A. Odin said S. The alien invaders and hijackers of America, and I mean real alien ETS, who gained a foothold in the early 1950s but had been working through key bloodline families for hundreds of years. Why it took them so long to gain a foothold and gain so much control will be explained later in this article. These alien ET invaders have infiltrated and hijacked America and its key institutions of government and defense and done so indirectly through their cutouts selected from the 13 bloodline families. But they have also deployed sinister mind control to keep the masses both unaware of the truth about this incredibly serious problem which threatens our future and also keep us living in a fantasy land of socially constructed lies. The basic outcome so far is that they have been able to transform America into their farm and most Americans into their farm animals. There is more and more evidence to now support the notion that the alien ET invaders have worked through 13 bloodline families for many centuries. Their operational ideology seems to be the source of Babylonian Talmudism. If true this would explain the use of the term Boyim by these bloodline families. The term Boyim is perhaps best translated as dumb cattle that exist only to serve those that farm them. Doubt that Babylonian Talmudism has infected some Judaics who are hellbent on destroying Christianity and any vestiges of our founding fathers deism and slash or Christian beliefs. Listen to this student at Berkeley who appears to have had a meltdown over some Christian sign bearers running a public discussion group of students and staff. Now you decide if this is an unbridled expression of subconscious Babylonian Talmudic and Hazarian superiority over and hatred of American Goyim. Is this the secret malevolent ideology that drives the select few, the PNA Sayers, the top neocons and the Israeli-American Israeli first dual citizens who planned and deployed the attack on America of September 11, 01? Do they unknowingly view us as their farm animals because they have been mind-controlled and culturally shaped by an evil alien ET race that has invaded planet Earth? The Hazarian leadership was apparently based on these 13 bloodline families. They have no Hebrew blood, are Judaic converts, and are completely two-faced and secretly act in such inhuman ways that some researchers have suggested that they are not really human at all but are Nephilim slash human hybrids. The leaders of these bloodline families have often presented themselves as converts to Judaism for false cover. Some researchers view these monsters that walk free among us as Anunnaki slash human hybrids. Others view them as alien ET slash human hybrids of the Dracos, a particularly vicious, bloodthirsty, and incredibly perverted bisexual bunch of renegade ET energy vampires who have long lifespans of 700-1200 years. This enemy within our gates presents itself to be like us, and pretends to be representing us when actually it is here to transform America and then the world into a big farm for us and the rest of humanity as their goyim, cattle. America is in distress because of its corrupt elected politicians who only serve special interest groups that provide lavish pay and perks. Bottom line, America has been infiltrated and hijacked by a very crafty, powerful, and sophisticated alien ET-based enemy that has entered our gates in stealth and will immediately lose power if exposed. Before we get into a more specific analysis of all this, let's take a quick snapshot of the incredibly horrid mess we Americans now find ourselves. 1. The American economy is failing. Most of our good jobs have been exported under NAFTA, CAFTA, WDO, and GATT. Now the USG is hellbent on passing TPP and TTIP and shoving Agenda 21 down our throats. 2. We've allowed very small foreign based, neo Bolshevik directed highly deviant special interest groups to hijack our government and our media and shove political correctness and diversity down our throats. 3. We've had our historical traditions and our special holidays such as Christmas excised from our institutions and retail stores despite the fact that the majority still want them. 4. Our borders, our English language, and American culture is being destroyed before our very eyes. 5. Our government has not only exported our heavy industry, manufacturing, and most good jobs under their illegal, unconstitutional so-called free trade agreements, creating massive unemployment. But despite all this there is no southern border enforcement and huge numbers of immigrants, legal and illegal, and encouraged to come into America. We hear the constant absurd claims that we don't have enough engineers and scientists when we have thousands unemployed and underemployed when the real reason is that the large corporations want to drive wages down and keep them down. 6. Our USG has become the world's largest illegal narcotics and drug trafficker, often going into joint ventures with drug producers and using them to build up large competing drug cartels. This serves several important functions, the first is to raise massive amounts of off-the-books cash for deep cover black, deep black, and beyond black covered operations. But it also helped pull out excess US petrodollars to help keep inflation from growing uncontrollably. 
These dollars are then laundered by the large Wall Street banks for large profits and the money is then invested in foreign nations and used to bribe foreign officials and USG officials and members of Congress through espionage fronts. Another purpose is to dirty up the American populace, breed mass addictions, chaos, and dysfunctional lifestyles, destroy the family, the fabric of American morality and character, and American society itself. 7. Our own USG which is supposed to protect us is engineering and staging numerous false flag attacks. It is doing this as an excuse to fight illegal, unconstitutional, unprovoked, undeclared, unwinnable, perpetual foreign wars of aggression for the world's largest organized crime syndicate the Hazarian Mafia and its chief action agent and cutout, Israel. Bottom line is the our own USG has gone rogue, has become selfing and has secretly declared war on all Americans and America itself. 8 Americans are being hit with so many rapid social changes and stressors on all sides because of USG corruption, malfeasance, and deficiencies in governing that they don't know what to do in response. Most just give up and live in quiet desperation while everything they have worked for all their lives is taken from them and their world shrinks every day. Those that work for the USG, Big Brother, get lavish pay and retirements, while most other go down the drain financially. Retirees who worked hard and saved all their lives see their savings eroded by inflation at a rate of about 7-9% to a year while they earn no significant interest on those savings, soon many will have nothing left and will be destitute. The economy is headed for collapse and some respected experts claim we will see all pensions devastated even USG and military pensions. Already the largest union in America has reduced some of its pensions substantially. Many city pensioners in Detroit found their pensions reduced up to 87% as the city went bankrupt. Chicago and L.A. are a breathe away from bankruptcy according to some experts. 9. Most Americans who openly dissent are labeled domestic terrorists, spied on, put on watch lists and no-fly lists, stalked, some severely sanctioned, and some even murdered. Secret National Security Letters, NSLs, are shoved in the faces of company managers and CEOs forcing them to fire, not hire, or these targeted individuals, to censor stories and now even book banning has started. These NSL letters are to be read only, not left and if the reader leaks any information about this NSL or why they fired an employee or didn't hire an applicant, they have been threatened with prison for 10 years and a huge fine. 10 American has been transformed into a huge national security state run by what is best described as a private defense contractor based secret shadow government, SSG, that has asset stripped most of wealth and is now sucking up what little assets we have left. It seems like every day the USG is taking more steps to create more tyrannical police state power for themselves. Our freedoms and liberty are being attacked almost daily on every front, and the America we grew up in is now being destroyed before our very eyes and replaced with a Stasi-style secret police state. 11. The USG is spending about 58% more than it takes in from tax revenues and is borrowing this from the private Federal Reserve System, FRS, with pernicious interest accruing illegally and unconstitutionally. Experts claim that each American is about $1,200,000 in debt to the private Federal Reserve as their part of the national debt. It is nuts to allow a foreign-run private central bank to print and issue fiat money as debt notes and charge us Americans to use what should be our own money in the first place and should actually be the real constitutionally required gold and silver-backed currency. 12 40 to 50 percent of new college graduates cannot find suitable jobs are underemployed if lucky enough to even find a job and are living back home with mom and slash or dad. They are burdened with such large college debts that they face a life of debt slavery and no private home ownership ever. 6. CORPS 320X31613 Everything broadcast or published in the major mass media is controlled by an illegal media cartel controlled by six ultra-wealthy media moguls who operate under the control of one major international investment house which is noted for being on the vanguard of such matters. A fantasy land false reality has been socially constructed by this controlled major mass media, CMMM using TV, radio, and Madison Avenue advertising and mind control to keep the American masses satiated, confused or feeling powerless. This fantasy land is based on big lies, false narratives, and propaganda and is so far from reality that anyone who tries to tell the real truth about anything is viewed as a crackpot or a conspiracy theorist. The average American has been so seriously mind controlled with these CMMM dispensed lies that they have been handicapped from adequately perceiving reality. This fantasy land is actually a very big societal group delusion from which folks must wake up from if they are ever going to be able to start withholding consent from the KM's evil agenda and to be able to take America back from these evil KM infiltrators and hijackers. 14. Despite all their billions in money laundering profits from the CIA's massive illegal narcotics trafficking into America, the large Wall Street banks are still failing. 
but the United States Congress bailed them out twice with over $2 trillion and this has not been near enough. The FRS has been issuing huge amounts of more the United States petrodollars each month as quantitative easings. But this is not enough. These largest Wall Street banks are still failing and even at an increasing rate. Why? Because the United States petrodollar is failing and being systematically and progressively rejected by the rest of the world. 15. The private Federal Reserve System has been the vehicle used to empower and implement the globalist NWO agenda in order to create a single world Luciferian government. It of course is run by the select few who run the Hazarian Mafia, KM, and also run the secret shadow government, SSG. The ongoing means to implement their globalist NWO agenda is to foment wars to create massive chaos break down the natural order, make huge war profits and thus replace the old order with their new order step by step. And they have been making tremendous progress until the internet, the American populist awakening, and the recent complete checkmate of the RKM in Syria by the Russian Republic. Actually, the foreign-owned and controlled private central banking system which prints and issues fiat money which is technically counterfeit money or debt notes that bear interest for their daily use. The private Federal Reserve System, FRS was set up as the world's biggest Ponzi scheme in 1913, designed to serve the needs of the world's largest organized crime syndicate that owns and control it. End of the hegemony of the petrodollar system? End of the hegemony of the petrodollar system? The American economic system has been designed to keep expanding until it engulfs the whole world in the United States petrodollar debt slavery and then is imploded when desired in order to shove a new RKM electronic monetary slash banking system in place. Soon the United States petrodollar will no longer function as the world's reserve currency. Our FRS banksters who serve the Hazarian Mafia, KM, will be cut loose like us and the top dogs who are really in control, the powers that be aka the select few, will just proceed to the next step in their age-old plan. But what is this age-old plan they have been working to implement for many years? It has many different names, globalist and WO agenda, one world government, evil empire are but a few. To truly understand what this NWO beast is that the RKM is attempting to impose on us against our will and the whole world too, we need to examine some basic trends over the last hundred years. Once these trends are considered then we must descend into the esoteric in order to fully grasp what is being done to us all, by who, why. Only then can we understand why we have so many Judas goats leading us as cattle to pillage and to slaughter, why we remain silent, and why we do not fight back. Major important trends in America the last 100 years. I all major the United States institutions, corporations, and industries, private and governmental, progressively infiltrated and hijacked by a foreign-based power one by one. This foreign power is the world's largest organized crime syndicate, the Hazarian Mafia, KM. This infiltration and hijacking began in earnest in 1913 with the illegal passage of the Unconstitutional Federal Reserve Act in 1913 and continues to this very day as the select few attempt to finish taking complete control over America. Insiders claim this end state will only be accomplished when all Americans are disarmed, preventing any serious rebellion when the really draconian sanctions on the American masses began to be deployed. Resource for Turkic and Jewish history in Russia and Ukraine To all these infiltrated and hijacked the United States institutions, corporations, and industries were then consolidated into super hierarchies so that they could easily be controlled by special Hazarian Mafia, KM, kingpins, appointed doofuses. The select few find it quite entertaining to select and raise up doofuses from bloodline or crime families and promote them to the highest positions of authority. These doofus absurd figures right out of a Dick Tracy comic book. The result of all this consolidation into hierarchies under direct control of the select few has been the complete merger of the corporation, the state, and private central banking. This is best described as super fascism where the corporations, including private central banking, merge with the state and take complete control over the state and use it to serve their own corporate needs only, viewing the American masses as sheep to shear and slaughter, and as useless eaters to be eliminated when they are no longer needed or all their accrued wealth has been asset stripped from them. 3. At the Roswell crash and several other ones close by in the American Southwest alien anti-gravity craft, AGCs, alien ET bodies and even some live alien ETS were recovered. This was used by private defense contractors to hijack American intel and build their own secret shadow government. SSG, and then overpower the visible USG including Congress, the Judiciary, Courts, and the Executive, President. This lockdown over alien ET matters was rationalized by claiming that the American people couldn't handle it. The real reason was that the KM kingpins were frightened that such knowledge would soon erode their money and power based on big oil and combustion engines. 
The idea of zero point or free cosmic energy scared them beyond reason because they saw it as an end to their criminal family dynasties. This SSG has frequently deployed murder to silence leaks and scare everyone into compliance with their abject evil. The whole USG is scared to death of them and all the SSG must do is invoke national security and everyone toes the mark. When the select few and their cutouts invoke national security, they are really stating, if you don't provide for our security we will make your life hell or we'll even murder you if we want to. What few Americans understand is that the secret shadow government has actually made treaties with at least one alien ET group to exchange our biological and genetic material for their advanced technologies which have included, transistors, integrated circuits and computer chips, fiber optics, lasers, LEDs, anti-gravity generators, scalar slash longitudinal waves, interdimensional quantum computers and Josephson junctions, etc. For once the Hazarian Mafia kingpins, the select few, were able to successfully invoke national security to build their national security state, aka their secret shadow government, they now had complete control over the visible USG and transformed them into their bought, owned, bribed, and human compromised puppets. This allowed them to begin to implement their globalist NWO agenda in earnestness. This evil agenda includes their goals to globalize the world into one world government that they, the KM select few, control, reduce the world's population by 90%, Create a new race of transhumans, the merging of iron and clay, by merging machines with human genetics, then eventually get rid of all normal humans leaving only their own new race in small numbers that are served by robots. As soon as the robots are adequately developed and the transhumans are ready, there will be no further need for the labor provided by the human masses and they will be disposed of, of course unless we stop them cold. Lately the select few globalist NWO agenda has been completely blocked by Putin and the Russian Federation in Syria. They are helping their close allies the Syrians defend themselves against the globalist NWO army, a terrorist mercenary group called ISIS, some insiders claim it is an abbreviation for Israeli secret intelligence service which kind of makes sense since many ISIS wounded have been taken to Israel for treatment and secret intel reports show ISIS commanders are IDF and Mossad. Yes, the KM has used their slave states including America, Israel, Saudi Arabia and Turkey to assist in their creation training supply and pay for their ISIS ETL terrorist armies. Their goal is part of the globalist NWO agenda which is to create massive chaos in the Mideast especially Iraq, Syria, and Iran, flood Europe with Islamic refugees to destabilize Europe and all in order to try and start a nuclear WW3 in the Mideast. So far that ploy isn't working for several very interesting reasons. Why isn't working? Because Putin is a very crafty, highly intelligent statesmen with advisors clearly superior to the KM-owned and controlled Pentagon officials advising are the United States administration. Not only have these advisors tried to mislead President Obama, but a rogue faction within the Pentagon run by Senator John McCain and PNA Sayers and top neocons left over from the Bush 2 administration are now running rogue operations to support ISIS. And all this Pentagon mischief and terrorism is being done at the direction of the United States traitor and betrayer of Vietnam War POWs and MIAs, Senator John McCain head of the Senate Armed Services Committee, and light on his loafers, old droopy eyes, the ZEO-controlled Senator Lindsey Graham. Putin's weapons systems, especially his dome of protection is superior to anything we have and easily can neutralize our ships and aircraft should we be dumb enough to challenge the Russian Federation. The USG just recently pulled its fighter jets out of Turkey because the Russians activated it S-300 and S-400 systems it moved into its allies Syria and Iran which use the dome of protection. It is important to understand that it has been leaked that the Russian Federation has entered into a treaty with a certain alien ET race that has shared incredibly advanced technology with them. It is alleged that the Russian Federation agreed to use it only for defensive purposes and not offensive. Putin has successfully checkmated the KM in Syria and this is the first time the KM has been stopped in over 100 years. The result, the select few are now in shock. They are very, very old and their days are limited to attain the completion of their evil agenda so you can imagine the time pressures they feel. Their rush is to gain the tools of tranchiominism and eternal life. If they fail in their mission they believe they will die soon. There is now substantial reason to believe that they are losing control of their master plan to engulf the whole world in their the United States petrodollar web of debt and without this they have little chance of ever attaining their globalist one world government aka the new world order of the ages. Alien midway now for the esoteric explanation of why this has all been occurring down here on planet earth and in America what is behind it, and what we all can do to stop it cold and dethrone the select few and put the KM out of America and out of our lives and our children's lives forever. During human history an alien ET race of notably evil, vicious, 
bloodthirsty male entities has been able to infiltrate and breed with a collection of certain human female bloodlines that have become what we now call Hazarian. They have done this to create their own Draco slash Nephilim slash Anunnaki slash Luciferian slash bisexual bloodlines for infiltrating, hijacking, and mastering planet Earth in order to complete their centuries-old globalist NWO agenda. These special 13 family dynasty bloodlines are evil and notoriously two-faced sociopaths, able to conceal their true nature from the masses. That is until the advent of the Internet which has made it possible for some of their victims and former members to speak out and be heard. Special mind control and very sophisticated economic technologies have been shared with the chosen leaders in each of these family dynasty bloodlines which have enabled them to garner control over the masses and in a sense farm them. Framing humans is the use of them for their labor, blood, and genetics, and a cannon fodder in their acquisition of more and more of the world's nations, their natural resources and the capture and farming of their people. Some of these technologies include trauma-based mind control, creation, and use of satanic cults, organized crime rings and pedophile rings to control society from the underbelly, Talmudic Babylonian money magic, and psi power and now advanced incredibly advanced psychotronics. ISIS One example of hard kill. Hard kill is deployed by the select few in the form of wars. And violent crime is elicited through the inculcation of temptations of the flesh and the seven deadly sins. Narcotics and other even more destructive drugs are trafficked to destroy life, and to dirty up and enslave the masses in corruption. Soft kill is deployed by the select few in the form of various perversions by Fourth Reich Big Pharma, and by Rockefeller created and controlled Big Medicine. These alien invaders, farmers of a now captive human race have a deteriorating genetic code and came here for a number of reasons. Some believe they were exiled here to test and tempt humans. Anyone who looks up onto the sky can see the massive toxic spraying being done as fully deniable, unacknowledged deep black covered operations. IS2 One example of soft kill Numerous samples have been recovered by scientists who have had them analyzed and found them to contain barium, strontium, nanoaluminum and other toxic bacteria and viruses, all designed to soft kill, aid in mind control by EMF flashing and perhaps even to alter human genetics. It seems certain they are here as energy vampires to extract the souls of man by providing temptations and dirtying everyone up as much as possible. It also seems certain they have set up joint ventures with Deep Black and Beyond Black defense contractors and unacknowledged programs to reinvigorate their genes by selecting key human genes and gene splicing them into themselves and in order to create a new transhuman with interdimensional powers and a synthetic soul that is even better than the human soul, the combining of clay and iron. There are respected researchers that believe that the human race was synthesized by an alien ET group in the first place, but I do not believe this is so. Here's why. Right now we have evidence that a certain the United States defense contractor has a Beyond Black Joint Research Program with an alien ET species in the underground base at Dulce, New Mexico to synthesize the human soul and place it in their android species. They have been working on this for move or 20 my ears and keep failing. There is no way they could have created humans if they cannot even do this. I for one believe there is an almighty God, our creator who created us, the earth and everything. The best evidence so far is that an ancient alien ET race bisexual but with a male reproductive appendage for coitus, notably evil, selfish, jealous defensive and murderous, came to earth and bred with human females. Some have called these Nephilim, the fallen angels or the fallen ones. Their offspring were apparently giants with two rows of teeth one in front of the other and six fingers and toes. These skeletons have been recovered and supposedly sit in a secret room in the Smithsonian Museum. It is pretty obvious that this alien ET group at Dulce is somehow related to the Hazarian Mafia, KM, perhaps hybridized from their own species, forming a very small evil hybrid clan from which the select few come from. Some researchers have called this new derivative clan the Synagogue of Satan, others have called them the Sabbatines, others have called them the Frankists. I prefer the term Hazarian Mafia. The hate humans have been using the KM to infiltrate, hijack us and farm us and when the time comes we are no longer needed they plan to destroy us, all of us. In the meantime they engage in kidnapping, sex trafficking and sex slavery, organ stripping and trafficking and every evil one can imagine. Here is the big question and if one can answer this in a manner that seems sensible many puzzles are solved about this mysterious and unfathomably evil group of alien ET infiltrators and hijackers. Question, if they have all that technology and power, why have they had to work through the KM hybrids? Why haven't they already just taken over America and the whole planet and walk around freely in the open? I can only share with you what I have heard in the past from a highly placed source that is based on rock-solid inside evidence, some of which I have seen myself personally. 
Apparently this group of evil alien ETS is not allowed to proceed without gaining the consent of humans at each step. There are apparently cosmic rules of play by which they must obey. Otherwise they would have just taken over and assumed public kingship. They did this in the past at least once before, took over and publicly displayed themselves as the kings, but the evidence suggests that they were destroyed by a major judgment of God Almighty. Therefore according to this narrative from a credible highly placed source, they will never attempt this again but will do it man by man with consent craftily obtained through soul snatching and dirtying up humans with evil. When they have the majority soul snatched they will then be able to proceed. Now why do I periodically pinch myself and try to decide none of this is true? Because even today with some very direct evidentiary experiences in the past, I still have difficulty fitting this all into my head. I simply do not want to believe it is true. But I always end up confirming it must be true because that is where the evidence clearly leads. I wish it was otherwise. But every day more and more evidence becomes apparent. Conclusion More and more Americans are waking up to the reality that some very powerful and incredibly evil, parasitical intergenerational entity is using elite deviants, the select few in their cutouts, and the underworld of organized crime groups as L as secret societies especially secret high freemasonry to transform America and the world into their big farm in order to be able farm us as their personally owned goyim using us as their beasts of burden and wealth and power generators while preparing us for mass slaughter in the not too distant future. They have a huge number of at least 140 deep underground military bases, dumps, connected by high-speed maglev trains and large vacuum tunnels. Some of these bases are joint alien ET slash defense contractor operations which kidnap Americans from national parks and use them for brutal genetic and mind control experiments often subjecting them to long periods of torture and trauma based mind splitting and soul murder which produces MPD slash did. The dumb at Dulce New Mexico is one of these incredibly evil joint bases which tortures, dissects and experiments on kidnapped humans including young children in their quest to synthesize the human soul with extreme interdimensional psi powers and also to enhance their decaying genetic material which is becoming a living death for them. The whole Hazarian Mafia, KM, system of evil is actually a big house of cards, an empire of lies which can be taken down if we understand how to do it. But it must be done collectively by at least 12% of the population in America. We are now at about 11% and climbing. Exposing the massive, blatant lies with which their empire of lies is based on will certainly collapse their empire like the house of cards that it is. When we reach 12% enough of the, the United States military and the, the United States police will wake up, despite the mind control conditioning they have been subject to. And they will no longer comply and will support any revolt, just like what happened in East Germany at the end of the Cold War when the border guards just started refusing to shoot any border crosser one day took off their uniforms walked away and the Stasi headquarters was sacked. It is pretty clear to anyone that thoroughly investigates all this that the Hazarian Mafia's select few and the leaders of the alien ET group that control them have been able to put a spell on most humans. They are not going to let us break this spell without a pretty good fight. But in the final analysis we outnumber them greatly and our people have deeply infiltrated their ranks at every level. And if we wake up in mass and withdraw consent we can extract their power and take back America. There may be a big cost in American lives and blood because they may attack us, but if we do nothing they will mass murder us all eventually. If we stand up now and house truth to attack them at their weak underbelly we can collapse their system of power which is a house of cards and an empire of lies. No matter what no law-abiding person should ever allow themselves to be taken into the night of disarmed. Right now armed American gun owners are the largest army in the world. The Hazarian Mafia and their select few secret leaders have put a spell on us all and we need to be awakened from it. So far a lot of us have been wakening up from truth nuggets carried by the worldwide internet. But, if we all work together and use truth to hit the KM at its weakest point we can take them down and take America back. John Fogarty is on one of the all-time great performers in rock history now a legend in rock and roll and a man that just never gives up and always comes back with a vengeance from any setback. Truly a great singer, guitarist, songwriter, and producer that overcame incredible abuse by a selfish manager when he was the front man, lead singer lead guitarist and songwriter for Clearwater Revival many years ago. In his latest band he has come back to become 100 times as successful as ever was with Clearwater Revival. This just shows what the human spirit can achieve when someone decides never to give up or quit no matter what and when one has such incredible musical talent in so many forms. One of his most famous songs was the Vietnam-era huge hit Who'll Stop the Rain.